When I made the video about the country club of Armenia, it was during lockdown and I couldn't get out there and I had never actually been into the club before. I've been by it, I knew where it was, but I'd never been in it. It's actually when you come out of the airport and there's a traffic circle there, it's on the other side of that traffic circle. <coughs> so one of the people visiting wanted to see the country club. He's considering living here in Columbia and this country club is actually tied to about 14 or 15 other clubs throughout the country and some are world-class courses. Now this one is not, but uh, we'll get to that. But if you join one, you join them all. So you get 30 days at any country club that, that you choose to. So let's say I'm gonna to go to Bogota and I'm gonna be there for a couple of weeks, then I can go to that country club on the membership of the one in Armenia. You know, so that's pretty cool. That's a pretty valuable thing. So we go out there to check this out. Now, this video doesn't really represent how hot it was. <laughs> this is the south part of Armenia, and it's pretty warm out there. And we're out walking around on this golf course, and uh, I mean, the first obvious thing is, oh my God, I'm walking through a desert. Okay, I might be exaggerating, but it was a pretty warm day. Now, I mentioned that this isn't world class, and the reason I say that is the layout, it's okay. The condition of it, it, it doesn't have your traditional type of grass. And, you know, so just overall, you, you look at it and you'd say, all right, I could play golf here, but it's not the best course I've ever played on. But this country club has far more than just golfing, and so we'll cover that here in a bit. So here we are, strolling around, checking out the course, and um, just to get into the, this place, it was kind of overkill with the COVID spray down deal. You go through one station, then you go through the next station, you go through another station. I mean, they're going to make sure that COVID doesn't get in there. <laughs> but then, you know, we walk around as we're out here. Um, you know, you didn't have to wear your mask if you didn't, you didn't want to. Now you're going to see me flicking up and down on this uh, camera and you know, I apologize for it but that's how it happens and I decided not to cut anything out that I would just leave everything in there so that you can actually get a pretty good sense of what's going on you know so yeah I could have cut it out but then there might be some things that you wish you would have seen so it's there. Now we did go through a couple areas where I don't know, there were these big swarm of gnat-like bugs. <laughs> and, and so I walked through and, you know, I'm slapping them off me and uh, it, was, it was okay. But then James walked through, there were three of us, Coleman, James, and myself, and James walked through and they want to let him go. They kept following him and kept following him and kept following him. And he made some new friends and they're going to go home with him. Now, an interesting thing in the course here is you can see the bamboo in the background. That's kind of a different feature if you come from the northeast of the U.S., like I do, where it's maples and oak and things like that. So we get to the facilities itself. And the first one, you've got kind of converted to a gymnasium because... Um, there's so many people wanting to use exercise equipment that they had to expand the room. But the first thing you go to, it's the 19th hole, which is when you're done, you go in, you have a nice drink or something, relax. But in the same building, you have uh, three exercise rooms. Now on this facility, You've got three places that you can eat. One is kind of a, a lunch place. One is the main building where it's lunch and dinners and 
events they used to pre-COVID have Friday and Saturday night activities with live bands, dancing. It, it's quite the happening place. I will also say that it's well known for its food quality. And they have a bona fide chef that works here, runs his kitchen, and it's outstanding. The food was really good. I had a uh, shrimp bisque that was superb. I would go back just for the shrimp bisque. Now, I should tell you that you can't get in unless a, a member sponsors you to get in. You know, so I've got a contact, so if I want to go, they've invited me, I can go. It might be, you know, fun to go out there and uh, have lunch once in a while. It's a, it's a beautiful facility, but what's striking about it is in the U.S., I've been to lots of uh, country clubs. I used to golf a little bit, and in the U.S., it's, it's more, it's like almost a place to go and do business. And it's high end. It's uh, you know tend to be the you know the the wood paneling on the walls and the thick furniture and just very high end type of thing. And that's nice. Here, it's all family oriented. They've got a BMX bike track. They've got uh, basketball courts. There's several swimming pools, a kiddie pool, uh, another. Um, big big pool it's a lap pool and then you've got a family pool it's um it takes everybody into account i mean even grandma would find something to do here and that pretty much speaks to columbia and, and you know their the importance that they put on things like family so yeah, I go through the locker room here. You can see the folded uh, uniforms. Uh, they have sponsored events here. And I know a locker room isn't the most interesting thing in the world, but hey, you know, you might as well see it. Now you have to understand that with COVID, a lot of things are, are different, but it was nice to see everything open, everything functioning. You know, you step on the other side of the uh, the guard shack and come into this facility. It's all there. It's all open, and it's uh, it's very nice. You may have noticed those little cabanas. There's a whole bunch of them by the pool. You can go out there and you can order lunch. You can come in, at night. You can order dinner there. It's uh, it's very nice. They have their own hotel on site and um, hotel with air conditioning, which in the south part, you might want to have that. Now, what are the prices? Well, because these things age and prices change, I'm going to give you some vague ballpark. The way it works is you pay a one-time lifetime fee that's going to be somewhere between three and four thousand dollars and then you pay about a hundred hundred and twenty dollars a month membership fee now you might think that's a lot i mean for people like me it's a lot but if you're going to have much activity there and if you consider that wherever you go in columbia you'll be an automatic member of those facilities this could this could really be a lifestyle for somebody and an affordable lifestyle so i think it's something to consider it was a nice day had a great lunch i really enjoyed this little trip i thank coleman for inviting me along and i hope you enjoy this video maybe when you come to armenia you might want to go take a look ciao I gotta send it to the right person. <laughs> oh my god.